So I've been doing a lot of thinking about bundle sizes in an Angular application and just what we can do to make sure that we optimize that experience for our users because usually a smaller bundle size means a, a better experience. They're downloading less JavaScript and the application is just a little bit faster. So what I wondered was, does doing a standard um, TypeScript import affect the bundle size? So the way that I'm going to, to look at this is using the Webpack Bundle Analyzer. And if you're not familiar with this tool, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, there's, there's a better video out there than I could ever make to explain how to use this and what it's showing you. Um, but basically, it shows you what's in the individual chunks and uh, the, the size, um, what the standard size is, and what the kind of gzipped size is, what will be coming out of a, a server. So um, it looks like this when you are viewing the, the Webpack Bundle an Analyzer. Um, you kind of break down, so what's in your main bundle? This would be like what the code that you write is, what's in the polyfills, what's in the other sections, the runtime. So we're going to use this to investigate how the bundle size is impacted by doing some imports. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uncomment all of these imports. I'm going to rerun the build. And you'll notice uh, on the command line that I'm doing a build with a flag called stats-json, which is what generates all of that information that then the Webpack Bundle Analyzer tool picks up and creates that interactive website to, to look at. Um, so I'm doing this all in one command. Okay, so what we notice is that our size of our application is unaffected by just doing a standard import. If we look at the original version, the gzip size was about 140 kilobytes. This new version with all the imports is also the same size. So it appears that our Angular application is not impacted by those imports. But if we come down here and we actually import those modules into our application module, let me remove the line comments and rebuild. You can see now that the gzip size is bigger. And if we look at all the modules, we can see those individual material modules here in the bundle. So what I think this shows is that doing a standard TypeScript import does not affect the module size unless you also import them into your app module and you're actually using them. So I hope this is helpful information, just letting you know overall that uh, it's best not to import app modules uh, that you're not going to use because they will affect your bundle size.